correct. Mm. But if we go back, it means like six, six thousand five hundred years ago, people have been living here so much. Pushe now is kept in the Republic Square in the History Museum. I don't know if you have gone there or not. If you will go there, you will see the real example of this matter here. Not only Pushe, but also many other things have been found in this part. Now we will go inside the cave to see the other things. The first winery and also many other things. Just mm -hmm. people, we are working 15 centimeters far from the edges of the cave, okay? <coughs> Oh, I'm to take picture? Allowed, you can take it. Ah, okay, because it's all this uh, no. stuff. <laughs> you have no problem. <laughs> you know that if you will not let you take it, you will kill us. You know, I've never been in any caves in the Philippines, so I am in Armenia and now walking in the cave. So, the cave consists of three holes. The first hole was the one that we show where the shoe was found. This is the second most, imp most important part of this cave. This is the first winery of Armenia. Like Armenian people started to make wine from here. You can see these big wine jars. This was the place where they used to make it. So again, from here we can conclude that we don't exaggerate or we don't imagine anything. This is the truth. This is the story of Armenia that Armenian people started to produce wine since like 6,000 years ago. This is the proof of all that, but of course not only wine, this is winery, wine making territory, but also in ancient times when Armenian people were not, heaven, uh, were not Christian yet, sorry, they used to do special ceremonies during funerals. And here have been found some tools, have some special equipment which were used during funerals. And again, we can conclude from there that people really lived here. At that time, people used to make wine from grape and pomegranate, like these were two of the most plentiful sorts of fruits to make wine. But now, Armenian people used to make wines from all kinds of fruits, especially in Armenia, who have many farms, many fields of apricot trees, peach, strawberry, so they make wine from all these kinds of fruits. This is the second like hole of this cake. And you can also notice that temperature here, right, is nice. It's not cold here. The temperature here is always the same. Like summertime, winter time, there is no any difference. The temperature here is always from 10 up to 14 degrees. That's why we love to come here in summertime. But it's very hot outside, we just come here. Be careful. So, as it is said, people lived here, we can say it for sure, because it was many years ago, and we can only conclude from these researches. Some people just, like, they want to say that people actually, Armenians didn't live here. They actually came here in winter time to keep themselves warm because of the temperature, and also to hide themselves from the wild animals. 
Some people mentioned that they know lived here, like they use this place as their house. And even say that this small room you see there was one of their bedrooms. And also the people who dig here found a tunnel which connected, like here we have the Arpa River. From the river just it was connecting tunnel to this place from the Arpa River, like water connection it was from with the help of this tunnel. And let's go to see the ending part of this cave. By the way, the excavations are still going on here. They are not over. And maybe some other things have been, will have been found here that are not covered yet. I'm sorry. By the way, this place we also call Bird's Cave. Because in summertime, one can see here many birds, especially bats are here. They just come, they like to spend their summertime here. That's why we call it also Bird's Cave. Are they Bird's Cave or Bird's Cave? You see this part? Yeah. Okay, people. Imagine that this part that we are now was their living room. The part over there was the kitchen, and this is like the corridor, which connected kitchen from corridor. They came to the living room. You see? And this is the place from where we came at that time. They just used the short one to go down to come, but now we use the long one to explore to see the whole mysterious cave. Why we call this place mysterious? Cause it's really impossible to believe how people lived here, how they survived for many, many centuries. And that's why people still dig here. I hope some gold coins also will be found here. We are hoping for this here. And also remember I said that bats live here during summertime. So you can notice that some parts of the walls are black. Actually this black color, the bats that stay here in summertime, they produce like the liquid, which become black. And later people, Armenians and also Russian people from here, and they use this black color like this material to make nice like a plant, like a tree, but it is stone. It doesn't mean anything for that. Just it grows. This stone is almost five million years old stone. And only for one piece of stone needs more than 500 years. That's why. This is unique type of stone here in Armenia. Nowhere else we can find this. The only one which grows itself. You see? Which one? This part? Yeah. He says, look, even here you can see that it's growing. Yeah. 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 This cave appeared, like people found. That's why this place was very humid at that time, but later, year by year, when there was no water at all, just you see Armenia, there are rock mountains everywhere, just became the cave like this. That's why you can see the sand and all here. So this is the story of cave. If you want, you can stay inside to take something. <laughs>